How's it going everybody, Machalo? And today we're going to review the top five times technology companies lost our private information. This video is in preparation for a new targeted advertising test I'll be doing in the next couple of days that may expose a different method that Google is using to monitor us at all times. Number five, PlayStation Network. In April 2011, Sony PlayStation Network suffered a 23 day outage as the result of an external attack on the PSN network in which the personal details of around 77 million user accounts, including my own, were stolen. At the time, it was the largest data breach in history, and the outage itself was voluntary as Sony had responded swiftly to the April 19th breach by shutting the entire service down while they isolated and repaired the problem. But this totally sucked balls for the PSN user base, not because it exposed the personal information of the 77 million people that no one gives a shit about anyways, but because it prevented us from playing any of our favorite games online. And I had just bought MAG at the time, which was a team-based first-person shooter that was only playable online. I mean, the hackers already had my personal information, just let me play the game. Instead, I had to wait 23 days to find out that I suck at MAG. Number 4. Target during the holiday season in late 2013, Target became a target of its own as hackers penetrated the company's internal network and gained access to the personal information of nearly 70 million of its retail customers, 42 million of which had their credit card information stolen, most of which affected shoppers in California, Texas, and Florida. Target has since faced a number of rough consequences as a result of the data breach. The former CEO, Greg Steinhoffel, was forced to step down and the company closed all of its 133 Canadian store locations, resulting in 17,000 workers losing their jobs. Number 3. Ashley Madison in July 2015, a hacking organization called the Impact Team stole all the user account data of anybody that used AshleyMadison.com, an adult online dating and hookup website specializing in connecting married individuals seeking a no-strings-attached affair. Adultery. The hacking group viewed the website as a degenerate blight on society and aimed to shut it down by threatening to release all the personal information of their user base if they would not immediately and voluntarily delete itself. Ashley Madison responded by offering the hacking group access to local married MILFs hungry for hookups, but on August 18th, the hackers responded in turn by publicly releasing the private information of hundreds of thousands of middle-aged balding men whose wives no longer sleep with them, as well as 12 or so women. More than 25 gigabytes of company data was released, including full names, home addresses, search history, and credit card information, resulting in countless divorces and even a handful of suicides. Number 2. Equifax If you live in the United States, there's a good chance that you're one of the 143 million American consumers whose personal information was stolen by hackers who were able to exploit a network vulnerability at Equifax, one of the nation's three major credit reporting agencies. The breach took place in May 2017 as hackers accessed people's names, social security numbers, birth dates, addresses, and even driver's license numbers. And in addition to all of that, nearly a quarter million people had their credit card numbers stolen as well. In this case, the breach was so massive and so extensive that the former CEO, Richard Smith, was called before the United States House and Senate to answer questions and take responsibility for the disaster, after he had already resigned, but was Oh, Dicky Smith scared? Oh no, not he. That's a reference to a book I read to my kids. Number one, Facebook Analytica and Cambridge. Gosh, I fucked that up. Facebook and Cambridge Analytica. In 2014, an app developer built a Facebook app which allowed users to simply take a fun little personality test. But what users didn't know was that by installing the personality test app, they had given it permission to harvest all their personal information off their profiles, as well as information off of their friends' profiles as well. More than 87 million Facebook users were affected by this app. The harvested information was then sold to Cambridge Analytica, who used it to market its services to potential clients like MasterCard and the New York Yankees. Eventually finding success with Trump's 2016 presidential campaign, who hired Cambridge Analytica for their ability to influence the behavior of American voters. When the general public became aware of how Facebook had left security doors wide open to app developers with sinister intentions, Mark Zuckerberg calmly handled the PR nightmare by voluntarily appearing before the United States House and Senate for long days of nonstop questioning. But you can't cut the Zuck who met every question with those dead void eyes, blank expression, and creepily perfect posture. And his stock skyrocketed back up as a result. It's estimated that Zuck took home an estimated $3 billion during his time in Washington. If I missed any big data breaches that you think should have been on this list, let me know down in the comments. Also, please let me know if you want me to go into more detail on any of the data breaches I just mentioned. Thanks everybody for watching. If you liked this video, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. And as always, please subscribe.